Hi, this is Bob Barrett, Shannon's father. We're driving around in between fields, and I asked a question when they're prospecting ground, what do they look at? And he had some very interesting information I'd love to, to share with you. So, Bob, if you'd kind of enlighten us on how, how do you look at the ground? Well, this, this is, they say it's looking at the ground, and, and uh, when you first, there's a, uh, you know, this is, this uh, narrow and vulnerable reserve uh, extends over about 40, 50 mile uh, long, 10, 15 to 20 mile wide in places. So you drive over and you do a visual appraisal. And in your visual appraisal, you take into account, it's all on this red ground, but they say it's a ground look. But this is what we're looking for, is these trees. And if you get here, these green poplar boxes with a light green leaf, you see there's a smaller one here, a bigger one in the background. This small one here would only be a young tree, but those big trees indicate that there's a fault line there. And there's a line that you'll see. After a while you get to know these things, there's a line of timber. Now as you come around here, you'll see this other different tree, which is an iron bar. See the one just beyond the little trees here, with a real black trunk and, and greyer type leaves. Now they're an iron bar, and they indicate that just below the surface is a really, really thick uh, cap of silcrete, which is very, very hard to drill. They always believe that it was uh, there was no opal under them. There is opal under them, but the one thing about them is they're hard, it's hard to get to, but the best thing about them is that they indicate a change in the country. Because where you get that real thick, hard silcrete cap, there's another old uh, paleo channel just away from that. This is, this is virtually the older stuff. This has been laid down, taken away and refilled. And that's what we look for. They're the lines that we look for. You get a line of box trees there, and that line of, of iron bark that runs right through. If we were driving down the main road into the bitumen road into Lightning Ridge, you'd still pick up that same line. That'll run for probably three or four mile that way, and probably eight or 10 mile that way. Technology is wonderful, but you can see that miners survived by their wits and their knowledge. And you've got to know the country as well. Like You've got to be in the country, know the country, know where it forms. The other thing that we find a fair bit is able, as these ridges drop away, they go from about 200 metres to the north of here, right on the Queensland border, down to only 400 metres. So they lose 100 metres in, in that, in that uh, 40, 50 mile that I'm talking about of height. And as they come down, these things cross them, these lines cross them, and they're all breaks and they're all indications of, of, of something. And we like to follow them because a lot of times in those, those things you will dig up trace and just as likely get opal. And finding the opal we love. And the opal's the name of the game. The name of the game is finding the opal. Thank you, Bob.